Alright. So I got the tank all pond shield and the acrylic installed. The main reason I wanted to make this video is because although there are a lot of plywood aquarium videos on YouTube, primarily Free Swimmer and the King of DIY Joey, obviously my tanks resemble his a lot. Thank you Joey for making those videos. There are no videos on installing acrylic. It's all glass and it was asked a lot in forums, Google searches, I couldn't find anything. So I had to figure it out on my own. So I wanted to show in this video exactly how I did it. So enjoy. All right, the final coat is complete. It still looks very wet, but it's only tacky. Let's see. So you can see my fingerprint, but there's none on my finger. Now is when you want if you wanted to add another coat, this is when you would do it. Oh, see how it kind of bunched up right here? That's fine. It's a good gravel anyway. So I'm not too concerned about the bottom and the sides. It's hard to pick up on foam. Look, it's so shiny, you can see my reflection in black. Suction cups stick to this stuff, no problem. Once it's full of water, it'll it'll look different. I added the top bracing. Here it is. This is the top bracing. Just how I said I was gonna do it. I really layered it on the uh, extra I had from coating the tank. You cannot put too much on the top. You're going to be doing a lot of stuff that leaks water. Feeding, taking stuff in and out of the tank. Fish splashing, whatever. But the top is just as important as the tank. And you can see I really layered it in. I drilled some access holes, which I did not do for the 350, and I wish I would have. See, I still have about a quarter of a kit left, and this is what I'll touch up on. But remember, I said I was going to smother the top half in silicone anyway. So these are the access holes I drilled right here. I drilled three of them. And what these are for is cords. For the heater, power heads, anything I want to put in there. I put two on the outside, one in the center. And there's one over there. Yeah, I still got to paint the back. I still got to repaint the whole thing. It only has one coat. Now, I didn't do that in the other one. So all my cores are running here. So my glass top are just sitting on top of the cores. See, this will prevent that. But it was my first plywood tank, so live and learn. So the only thing left as far as sealing this box is doing a little sand on the edges and I will put silicone as nice as I can. I did it to the uh, 350 and you can't even tell so black silicone and all up underneath the bracing that I made.
and then it'll be acrylic time. Well, it's acrylic day, and there's one thing I wanted to bring up before I start, is you're gonna fasten this acrylic into the tank with screws. And you wanna make sure you get stainless steel screws. Um, I actually bought some online that said stainless steel and they weren't. And the way to test that is put them to a magnet. Stainless steel will not stick to a magnet. If they have any other metals, obviously that are magnetized, they will. So I just wanna throw that in real quick before I get started. So I got the acrylic about halfway installed and I thought I'd stop real quick and explain a little bit. Now it's really hard to show you this because everything is so dark and glossy. But I'll do my best. So first you lay the silicone down obviously, nice fat bead. Then what you want to do is once you put your screws, you will start like you do, if those of you that worked on vehicles, you would start like you do a transmission pan. So you would start with the middle two screws and you work your way out. That way, because if you put one in the middle and then you put one in the end, there could be a small bubble or gap in there and it'll crack as you tighten so you would start in and work your way out then it's okay to drive the screws down with the impact or drill <clears throat> just until they touch the acrylic then the rest you want to do with a screwdriver and as you're tightening you want to see it make contact with the acrylic and you'll or the uh, silicone and you'll see the silicone spread it's okay if it has a little lip out here, you can cut that off later with a uh, razor blade. And when you're done, I like to cap the uh, screw off with just a dab of silicone. Now the edges, obviously I run a bead, but I let it tack up a little bit and then I just keep adding layers till there's a layer of silicone the same thickness of the acrylic. Now like I said, this is how I did it and it worked. This is by no means an instructional video by a professional. I left the screw, I didn't cover the screws of silicone so you can see what they look like. That blue is from my last project. You've seen in my other videos, I, I tore it down and reuse this. Any extra silicone, don't worry about it, we can clean that off. Remember, silicone doesn't adhere to acrylic very well. That's why you have to use the screws and it makes a nice gasket. So any that gets on like this, it'll be all right. Later on, look, that was from this previous job and it just peeled right off. So. That is how you do the acrylic. Once this dries, I'll set it up. and it will be a water test. I also am going to add acrylic on the edges, around my bulkheads,
and on the, this the tanks flipped on his face and on the top remember I'm gonna just smother it I have plenty of silicone left and on the inside in here this is the inside 